and let's peel together. Boom. I'm so sorry to keep getting out here crying. Why one of these kids scream out, you big as fuck. Which one of y'all just agreed? The funeral and my daughter's graduation is on the same day. Y'all, so I just cut my grass. I don't know why I thought I could do that shit. Well, I did do it, but. So tell me why. I'm cutting my grass, minding my business. And the kids just got out of school. It's like 3 or 5. So, and you know, if you live in my area, the kids get out at like 250. So they walking past my house. And if you know, a few of y'all know, you know, where I live at. So y'all know what I'm talking about. They all, all the kids walk past my house. Why one of these kids scream out, you big as fuck. Which one of y'all just agreed? I'm done with y'all. I'm done with y'all. Because why would you agree? Why would you agree with something some snotty-nosed kid says about me? Anyways, I just cut the grass. I'm dirty. I'm about to hop in the shower. I really don't think I have nothing to film, nothing to vlog about. Like, this vlog is going to be really, really short. I was supposed to end the vlog the other day. But I had to film it on my phone. And it didn't film in the right way. Like, it didn't film this way. So, usually, iPhone will let you edit it and crop it and rotate it. I rotated the bitch. And it won't save to iMovie rotate it. I'm so tired of dealing with dumb shit. But one of the little motherfucking kids screamed out, you big as fuck. And you go agree again. I'm done. I'm outside. I made, I got the dog, I got Rosetta with me. I made a cocktail. It's a mixture between, I put twisted tea, some the green apple Smirnoff, and some Chardonnay. It is so, I'm just kidding, it ain't that good. It's cool though, you know what I'm saying? It's a drink. I'm about to sit outside. Let me show y'all the grass. So, I still got to do the patio. Rosetta, come here. I don't ever know where she be at, and that's my problem. And the last thing my father needs to do is lose his goddamn dog. And he just lost his goddamn mama. Look at all them bugs. Let me get away from here. Look at all them bugs in that grass. But yeah. So I'm sitting on my back patio. I don't have to worry about the traffic. I don't want to be seen. Yep. And that's what I'm about to do. Uh, PJ just called me. So I'm probably about to call him back. Well, I'm about to, I'm about to call him back. I just wanted to come and get the dog outside. Yeah, my yard don't look that bad when it's like when the grass is cut. And... Oh, here go my dad. Have y'all ever seen this movie? Along came Polly. His wife went scuba diving on their honeymoon, and he just got back to pick her up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is 
not what it looked like. Good morning. It is, I think, Wednesday the 15th. Just woke up a few minutes ago. I made me some coffee. I had to give me some coffee first thing today because I was feeling a little groggy. Coffee always makes me feel better. I got a bagel in the air fryer. I'm about to go put some cream cheese on that. But so I'm sitting here. <clears throat> I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching um, um, Hannah. And uh, Hannah Olivia, if you want to check her out, Hannah Olivia. And um, I'm just, I really want to get in my car and just drive around, go to the lake. And I don't have a car. Like, I want to get in my car and go to the lake this morning. And I just feel so restricted without my car. So, I ain't tell y'all, but of course I talk to the repo people, right? So, they're auctioning my car off on the 29th. The starting bid is $7,000. <laughs> Child, if I couldn't afford 500 a month for the past four months, you think I can afford 7000 Anyways, they um they offered me a <clears throat> they offered me a um a settlement. They've been trying to offer me the settlement for a while. Um, because I don't know if y'all y'all remember when I told y'all that PJ had some money, so PJ was gonna either pay my car off or pay my rent up. But I chose for him to pay my rent up. Um so I never took the settlement. So I thought that when my car got repo, all of that went out the window. Well, when I talked to them, they were like, well, you still have a settlement and you can still do this, but it has to be done before the 29th. The settlement is, I owe 12,000 on the car, which is crazy because it's a 2017. I know, right? So um, they offered me a settlement on the car, which is 30% off, which would be 3,800 for the entire car and I wouldn't have no note or anything. Oh, that hurt me so bad. And I don't have it. Like that's the type of shit I be talking about when I be saying I'm poor. Like I got the opportunity to not only get my car back, but to own it outright, no more note, everything. And it wasn't nothing wrong with my car, but little stuff, you know, like I needed brakes, I got brakes. Um, I, I think I need a new belt. PJ bought me a belt. Uh, we never got a chance to put the belt on it because they took it. But, like, a whole bunch of little stuff, you know. And $3,800, I could have had my car back. And I don't have it. And I'm, and I'm not going to say I know I'm not going to have it. See? Y'all think I just say anything, and I don't believe in that, that the tongue thing. Like, um, how you speak, and you can manifest things. This is what I'm talking about. I don't want to say I won't be able to get it because... I don't want to jinx my chances in something happening in the next couple of days and I actually can get it. That's why I say, when I say poor in Cleveland, because of the things that I go through because of my finances, not because I'm manifesting it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So, But I know that you speak, you know, the tongue and all of that, but hopefully I don't feel like I, I'm not going to say I can't get it. Because it's a good chance that I do come up with the money within the next week. But it's going to be hard. That, I'm not in the frame, am I? It's going to be so hard. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. This flash be killing me. It's moss. Move, Milo. Okay, just or stand there. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. We just go. We just go. $3,800 to own my car completely. I got. I 
shouldn't have made both sides. I never eat both sides. Um, cause the whole bagel is like, I think 180 calories. Uh, 270 for the whole bag. So I'm probably gonna eat one side and leave the other side. But ain't nobody gonna eat it. I shouldn't have even made it. Damn it. If you can come up with $3,800, you might as well just put that towards your rent, you know? Because PJ can't pay my rent forever. He won't even be able to pay my rent. Um, He wasn't able to do it this month. He got to pay his own goddamn bills. So now, like, what do I do? Yeah, so... And I can't even say, what do I do? Like, what do I do yet? Because to be honest, I ain't got the money yet. So, I really want this light off, I'm sorry. I want that light off. It's still early, it's like 8 a.m. here. Well, it's like 8 a.m. right now. But, um, so yeah. Sorry if my face dirty too. Like I haven't gotten myself together yet. Um, I'm unemployed. Like what I gotta what I gotta wash my face for. Now I'ma get myself together when I get got tootin' fruit tootin' do tootin' to bootin' ready. I ain't gonna be able to eat this. I ain't got no goddamn side teeth. It hurt. So. I guess what I got to do today is. I don't know. Figure out how to come up with $3,800 to get my goddamn car. My dad. Want me to go to Walmart with him today. So, I'm going to do that. Yesterday, or the day before yesterday, we went to Rose's to pick out an outfit for my grandmother. Me, my dad, and my daughter. My daughter found the outfit. Um... I hate that I can't just get in my car. I hate that I'm so uncomfortable in life right now. Like, I miss my car. And today is the perfect day to be at the lake. The perfect morning. Somehow I gotta figure out how to come up with this money because I really want my car back. And everybody just like leave it. Something better coming. I know something better coming. But if I got the opportunity to own my car for thirty eight hundred dollars, anyway. I'll see y'all in a few. Still vlogging on my phone. 
And y'all be like, you're not poor. Change your mindset. That is how you sound. That is exactly how you sound. Alright, y'all. I'll be back in a little bit. Let me eat and watch Hannah. Bye, love. <laughs> Good morning. Happy. I don't know it. What I got to stop doing is saying happy something something because I don't usually talk like that. Today is Thursday. The something something. That's how I talk. <laughs> Today is Thursday. The 16th. Thursday the 16th. Yeah, because it's Janet Jackson's birthday. Yes, I'm a big fan. But, um, oh, Lordy, Lordy. Um, I am about to attempt to, um, get, first of all, you know what? Let me get my face together. I, I, I'm dirty. I'm dirty. I will wake up and just get straight to what I, what what I'm about to do for the day. Like, can you at least brush your teeth, wash your face, wash your face, dirty ass? And I don't even want to do it in here because it's not clean. So I'm just gonna do a face wipe down. Or my face. Wait, first let me brush my teeth. Let me brush my teeth. Y'all don't need to see me brush my teeth. I don't like this. Should I be head on? Or y'all cool like this? Why do it look like my hair, um, my braids been in for seven months? Child, I'm stressed. I'm stressed out. So, um, my grandmother's funeral will be Tuesday. And I think during that time, during the time of the funeral and everything, I don't think I'm going to vlog that week. I don't know. But um, PJ taking me on a date this weekend, Saturday. So I'm gonna vlog the, this weekend and then I'm not gonna vlog no more after that. I might, I don't know. I might just vlog that one day and then post it or I might not vlog at all. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And if I have, um, the SD card for my camera. But, um, because I don't want to be walking around with my, that's the, the funeral, the funeral and my daughter's graduation is on the same day. Which is crazy to me because I just feel like, okay, God, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why am I having to celebrate while I'm grieving? I don't understand how, you know, we had to make that decision about her being turned off her machine, her breathing machine. And my daughter's prom was on the same day. And that was so hard on me. And now I have to turn around and do it again celebrate my daughter's graduation and then the funeral. This time I think the funeral will be first. I think the funeral is first. And then I think, because I think the funeral, I'm doing the 
serums, the vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. Just tune into it. Stop trying to look at me. And then I don't do each one at a time. I just put it all in my hand. I don't nobody be. Y'all do too much. It's the same results if you do it like this. Uh, so. I feel like I keep having to mourn and celebrate on the same exact days. And that is just the craziest thing I've ever went through. Because I cried the entire day of my daughter's prom. But this time, I'm going to go to the funeral first. Because I think the funeral is in the morning. And then I'm putting some eczema cream on my face. And then the graduation is later in the day. And you know what I hate? I had so many plans for, like, I had so many plans for how my life was going to be, my daughter's graduation, and I wanted to always be able to get my daughter a car, and I cannot. Goodness. I don't have a plan. I could could have had a graduation party. But uh, I don't know. I really wanted to get my daughter a car. I kept it kept moving back. Like things just kept coming up. I wanted to get her a car for her 16th birthday and I couldn't. I wanted to get her a car for her 18th birthday and I couldn't. I wanted to get her a car for Christmas and I couldn't. Like, uh, it's just things kept coming up. So I said, okay. When I couldn't get her the car for Christmas and for, um, my sausages is done. When I couldn't get her a car for Christmas and for, um, her birthday, her birthday just passed in February. I said, okay, well, maybe you can get her a car for graduation. That's the new plan. And the, the plans aren't planning for me. The plans are just not planning for me the way that I would like them to. So, anyways, today I'm in the office and I am about to attempt to, first of all, I'm gonna clean this office up. And then I'm going to attempt to try again at making some shirts. I haven't been able to make shirts. I haven't been able to make shirts in a couple of weeks because my computer wasn't working. And um, I couldn't get it to connect to the Wi-Fi. So they were saying that um, it's because my computer might have some type of virus or something on it or be compromised. So what I did was I ended up completely restarting the entire computer and then um once i restarted the entire computer i couldn't get it to connect to the creek to the cricket machine or my printer yesterday i got it to connect to the cricket machine i mean to the printer and today i'm about to see if i can get it to connect to the cricket machine everything will you, it's, it's hard to do everything in one day when it comes to this stuff because after a while you just get so frustrated sitting there waiting the Wi-Fi is still kind of wonky and it's so annoying I'm hoping the Wi-Fi working today because I ain't paid that bill I ain't paid that bill let me tell y'all what I did so you know how if you <laughs> if you pay with an account instead of paying with a card you will they'll um take the payment and they usually take a few days 
That's how I paid my Wi-Fi bill the other day. I ain't got the money. It's $105. I ain't got it. I don't. Y'all be like, don't say you're poor. That's exactly how you sound it. Don't call yourself poor. I don't have $100. But anyways, it is what it is. Hopefully it's still on. That's what we're about to do. We're just about to see if we can get these shirts. I need um, somebody placed the order for a fucking shirt like like two weeks ago. And um, his, his cash app is just sitting in my cash app. And every day I'm looking at that money like I'm poor. And I be needing bread and shit, you know? But I'm such an honest person. So this is what we're going to do. We're about to sit down and we're about to figure these shirts out. I'm going to try to make the, the shirt order that I that I owe. Um, and then I'm going to try to do two promo shirts on those two white shirts hanging back there. I bought those. I bought those from Hobby Lobby. Um, two crispy white shirts. Two promos. And we'll see if we can sell them. And then also, because if I can make $5,000 in the next three days... <laughs> I'm gonna get my car back probably get that to my daughter and have her drive me around until I get my own car but anyway so let's try to sell some shirts and let's try to um sell oh and the buy Stanley cup the buy Stanley cup those because somebody did DM me about that and if you're watching this I, I haven't gotten back to you yet but if you heard me explain, all of this stuff has just been a mess in this office. So, um, if I can get everything running properly today, then I'm going to go ahead and start making the by Stanley Cups. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them in a whole bunch of different colors. It might be the one color I got, and that's it. So, yeah. And also, I have a Teespring account. I can go ahead and link my Teespring. The only thing with Teespring is they take too long to give you your money. Like if somebody buy a shirt, and I've had Teespring since 2000, when I first started my t-shirt company, I had Teespring since 2000. 17, 16 or 17. Is one of them cats back there? One of y'all back there? Cause something just scared the shit out of me. I had that Teespring for a long time. Teespring is just a platform where you go and you design your t-shirts online and then you post it to Teespring and then Teespring will sell it for you. And I, I know I'm noticing a lot of uh, other YouTubers been using Teespring and they've been doing real well. Mine don't, they, <laughs> anyways, um, I guess when you got the big platform, you can do stuff like that. But let's try to sell some shirts real quick and let's sell some stuff and let me go make me a sausage. I, I ain't got no I ain't got no bread. So I'm about to make me a sausage wrap because I got like a wrap left. One wrap left. One tortilla wrap left. That's all I got. Don't be laughing at me. Yeah, glow up at the dip 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 the dead though. Did y'all see the um the one TikTok or the one video of the girl, the college girl asking Glow for thirty thousand dollars? Look, like Look how I eat. I had no sizes, so. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, glow. Feels like 
Can you help me with my tuition? She just came right out and asked her, like, girl, I ain't lying. I closed mouth. But I don't know if anybody, any other Leos have this problem. I can't ask for help. I cannot ask for help. The only people I comfortably ask for help and money is my daddy, my brother, and my man. I just can't ask for help. Um, um, a few of y'all have asked, like, are you comfortable with dropping your cash app? I'm not. I'm not comfortable with it because I feel like I feel like that's like I don't know. Asking for help. I feel like that's begging. Now, on my birthday or something, now, I ain't one of them people who um, put posting your cash app on your birthday is like, that's not me. On birthdays, I post cash apps. Because when I when I see when I see cash apps, like when I see cash apps, I send money to them. I don't know if y'all do that. Like have you ever came across somebody's cash app and just sent them like two dollars? <laughs> if I hear like come on, this is starting to piss me off. Hurry up. If I hear like about a story on the radio or something like that. And they'll be like, oh, well, you know, I just lost my job. And I'll be just sending people money and stuff like that. But when it comes to me, I'm not comfortable. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm begging for money. I don't, y'all. I see why PJ don't want to be on this app. People have said some of the nastiest shit to me. And it's usually men. Because what are you doing here anyway? Like, I wish they would just make men, make men pay for social media. Because then none of y'all asses be on here. Me neither, for real. But like, you ever see them in a place they ain't got no business being? Like, what are you doing on my blog? Talking negative about me and my man for her. like. I was on Instagram the other day. And see, starting to act weird again, not connected to the internet. Like, why? Why are you not connecting to the internet? Like, sometimes you just randomly see a man in a place he ain't supposed to be. Like, I'm on Instagram the other day, and it was a post about vaginal health. A whole bunch of women on there giving each other advice, a whole bunch of women on there talking to each other. While I'm looking through the comments and it's a nigga in there. Talk about just watch that motherfucker. What are you doing here? Just watch that motherfucker? Like, ugh. Disgusting. Just disgusting. All right. Run the smart scan because I ain't got no internet. I don't understand why I ain't got no internet. See, this is why I, I get frustrated and then I stop every single time. It just won't stay connected. My computer won't stay connected to the internet. 
not in it, not off yet. It's even saying the internet is on, but it's not connecting. I don't understand. I'd be bad. I'm not positively sure if I got it to work. But we're about to see. But I think I think my computer, I think my network was on an untrusted network list with my new firewall. Oh. Anyways, let's see if I can get this to work. I need to clean this table off for real, for real, because everything is in the way. And I can't work like this for real. But I'm going to have my daughter do it because she was supposed to do it the other day. And she did not. So, okay, let's see. I'm going to send it to the printers right there. And add bleed. System dialog. And that's not my printer. That's my printer. And then print. Take me to the system dialog, please, before you try to print anything. Okay. And then that's my printer. And then preferences. Huh. Portrait. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Where am I at? No, that. If not plain paper, it's... This is not gonna work out right because what? Advanced? This is new. This looks different than what it used to look like. That's not gonna come out right. Nope. <sighs> it came out with lines in it, so which means I'm gonna have to redo it, but this time slow it down. And the reason why, okay, it's gonna be real hard for me to explain to, to just see now, now the internet connection is gone again. Like, what the fuck? I'm so frustrated. It's like all of my means to making money. I don't know what God is doing. I don't know what's God. What, what is happening? I'm one of those people who believe that everything that happens is because God wanted it to. <sighs> Nothing is working. It just, the internet just keep cutting in and out and in and out. It don't do that on my phone. It only does it on the computer. So I'm about to try it again, but this time I'm gonna slow it down. I hate that I wasted this though. But those are so expensive, y'all. Like for a pack, you get like five or six, and the pack like fucking twelve dollars or some shit. So uh, and then they keep going out. I need a preference for yes cancel the fucking cut um print and cut let's go back again the size came out perfectly though the system dialog is different like it don't give you the speed why is it not giving me my speed i usually would go to preference See, like, what is this? Advanced. I need to slow it down. It's moving too fast. And I don't know where to do that at now because it's different. Why is it different? 
It need to be slowed down though, tremendously. And how do I do that? It's 125. I've been sitting at this computer all morning. What I got up at, I got up later to, today. I didn't get up as early. I usually be up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. I think I got up at like 8.50, 9 o'clock. I was having sitting at this computer since 10 o'clock. I've been back and forth with y'all since 10 o'clock, 10, 11, 12. It's been three and a half hours, and I'm just not figuring it out. This is the screen I've been talking about that I could not find. And guess why? Because remember I told y'all I had to delete the whole computer system. I had to delete everything. Well, my printer still works because it's on Wi-Fi. But my printer software and app wasn't on the computer anymore. All right, let me show y'all what I was talking about. So I need the computer to go slower so it can come out different. So if you go to, it's in here, don't, high speed, wait, where is it? Not maintenance, main, standard quality, standard, more settings, speed, slow it down. That's all I was trying to do. That's all I wanted to do the whole time. Now watch how different, watch how different this come out. Watch, watch this. Okay, so let's slow it down. More settings, color, blah, one. Let's do it. Now print. Watch how different this comes out. And then it's on the dark. Oh, that came out sideways, it looked like. I don't start playing games. Fix it. happening I done talked it up and ain't shit happening nothing's happening I'm so tired of this stuff like I don't know how people work in, in this field like why are they printing I, 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 I just even my Wi-Fi is uh, better now that I put the software back. I don't understand how that. Happened. Can you come on? What are you doing? Is it stuck? Let me make sure it's not stuck. I'm just having a real rough day. He didn't even like. He didn't even grab it. Like he didn't even do anything. I need a drink. I'm about to. I'm about to have a drink because. Print. Let me start over. Okay. Send to printer. I'm going to do it over. Send to printer. Use the system dialog. Okay. Print. Take me to the system dialog. Thank you. Okay. The right printer. Wait, is it this one or this one? Preference. There we go. Now, quality. Hey, 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 hey. Where is it? Settings? No. Standard, more settings. Way up there, I'm about to put it there. Now I'm about to print it out on regular printing paper first, and then we will see. It's gonna be very different. And I hate to keep printing it out because I feel like I'm using up all the ink, but I got more ink than paper, and trust me. All right, let's try it. That's how slow I want it, right there. Now watch it ain't gonna be no lines in it. That's all I was talking about. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, now this is gonna be a dumb vlog, but I'm definitely gonna post this vlog today because why wait till the weekend? I can do three vlogs in one week. 
Like, why not? I ain't doing shit else. It's taking them forever to monetize me, by the way. The little thing they sent me, it was like, um, this could, this process could take two to three weeks. And that's the second process. There's a third process that it said could take a month. I had like 61,000 views so far this month. I thought I was about to get a little check. I could have paid my rent. Got my car back. I probably wouldn't have been able to get my car back. Because I don't know how much YouTubers make. But the ones I watch, they look pretty fucking rich. So. And two companies hit me up. One of them getting on my nerves because it's clearly Chinese based and the grammar is really bad. And they're very persistent. Like, I know our time difference is, is different, but at 11 o'clock at night, don't rush me to respond. Like, it's 11 o'clock at night. It's a, a shoe place, a shoe place. And um, there was no money offered right now until, of course, um, I get better traction. But they said they would send me a pair of shoes every month. I, I'm, I'm poor. I will take it. I will take it but they want a seven minute video and the video has to be done alone there can't be it can't be in a vlog and i'm like a seven minute vlog based off of shoes that's hard work to me anyways let's do this let's see so now i got the real paper in there the the transfer paper and we're going to try this one more time so we're going to go to print Send it to the printer. Use the system dialog just to make sure the settings didn't go back to normal. We're gonna go to preference. We're gonna go to standard, more settings. Yep, it went back to normal. So we're gonna go up quality twice. And then I should put it all the way up, but that's gonna be real slow. And then we're gonna go to okay. And now we're going to go to, okay, print. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Now, this is coming out on the real transfer paper, not printing paper. And it should come out nice and smooth, just like that. Just like that came out. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait, wait a minute. Oh no, that's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Do you see how those lines are? They don't show up when it's when it's uh, pressed on. But these would have definitely showed up. That you won't be able to see. And I'm gonna show y'all. So first, let's get it cut out because I'm not cutting this off. I don't feel like it. I'm not lazy. I just don't feel like doing it. So the paper is sideways on the Cricut. Do you see how that is? So you put it on your, your form the exact same way. That should be good. You put it face up. That should be good. And then it's telling us to load so we're gonna load it we're gonna load it right on there right on there and that is going to cut the design out for me now this is for dark t-shirts only white t-shirts get pressed get cut get pressed down black t-shirts are pressed up so you have to use different transfer paper this transfer paper paper is for dark fabric. Don't use no. I'll try to use that on light. It ain't gonna work. Go mess your shirt up.
Wait, this goes out. That is out. Did that go out? Okay. Ooh, I was scared. See that, y'all? Like, I did it. Like, stop it. We... Sometimes you can just peel it right from the back. Yeah, you can. And it should just leave my design. I did it. Alrighty. I think that's it. This out. Okay. Everything out. Everything out. And then I should be able to press this directly onto the shirt. So let me show y'all. All right. He has a black shirt. Remember I told you that was for black fabric. So first we're going to press the top. Want it smooth. And I'm going to actually press down on it this time. Because this ain't my shirt. Alright. Nice and smooth, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it to see where the middle point is. Why this shirt? Mm -mm. Smell musty. Oh, that's me. Okay. And then we just go do like a slight push on it. Just so we can see where the middle point is. See the little line in the middle? Yep. That's the middle. I'm so excited. This has been long enough. Is that you? Yes, it is. Hey, girl. Look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she got her graduation tickets. <laughs> So turn on. What time is it? Seven PM. Yeah, say well done. They say the doors open at six though. Okay. Who are coming? Give me your tickets. Ooh, this is too messy. Can you clean your office in the bathroom today? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I ain't doing nothing. I'm about to take a shower and go sit outside and drink. It's hot out there. Good. Very, very, very hot outside. All right. Not a little bit, a lot. Boom. And try to put that right in the middle. Girl, I finally got this damn shirt. Uh, the printer working. What did you have to do? Remember I told you I had to delete everything off the computer? Mm -hmm. The, um... The software wasn't on the computer. Oh, you believe Dumbass. <laughs> I, I'm figuring because I can still print the printer right there. It still work. Right. But the software wasn't on the computer no more. I didn't even know you need that. That's dumb, ain't it? Yes. I had to re-download the whole software and now everything working. Wow. Wow. Piece of paper. And then... I'm gonna cover it with the other end. And I'm just gonna let it press. For a little, get down here. I'm gonna let that press for like 30 seconds. I think that's long enough. All right, wish me luck, wish me luck, cause if I messed this shirt up, I'm about to buy another one. And who poor? <laughs> now I just gotta get it fixed. So I think. My homeboy.
Because how you mad I'm fat? So that's what we're gonna do together today. We're gonna put together a t-shirt. And then I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna put on an outfit. And then me putting together an outfit because who can buy an outfit right now? Not me. Right now I can't buy shit. Alright. All right, let's weed it out. All right, just gonna start from that Lacona right there. Lacona, this vinyl thick. This is some good ass vinyl. This gonna last on the shirt for a really long time. This is real good vinyl right here. I don't even know where I got this from. I think I got this from It was either Hobby Lobby or Amazon. And because it's in a big roll, a gigantic roll, I think it might be Amazon. This is so thick. And don't be peeling it like me. Take your time. I guess because I'm making it for myself, for promo, I don't really care. But if this was somebody else's shirt, then I would be a lot more careful. And then we just go weed out the pieces I, I like to put it on there it's easier for me to do it that way let's take a long walk around the park after that find a spot for us to spark conversation See, how you mad I'm fat like how you mad I'm fat all right, and then those little pieces, I'm gonna cut it off. Cause we don't need none of the, the this part. We don't need it, so it's okay. As long as your thing is straight and you put it on the shirt, you good. It's the ass. We're gonna just get the kinks out. See the little wrinkles? We're gonna get that out of there. We're gonna get them out of there real quick. Just drop that on there, that's all I do. I don't even press it down. I just drop it on there, lift it up. That's good enough. This is my shirt. That's good enough. All right, and then we're gonna take our design. I like to fold it from letter to letter, the edge of each letter, to see where the middle part is. So that would be the middle. This is the middle of the shirt because you can still see the line in it because I didn't press it all the way down. I didn't press it all the way down. You know what I need? A drink. And then I don't have any parchment paper. So I usually just fold the bottom of the shirt up, put it on there like that. And then press it, and this is super low. I'm gonna heighten that up a little bit. And then press that down. Very simple. Very easy. Yep. I usually keep it down for like 15, 20 seconds. Sometimes 30, I don't know. I don't be doing anything. I be doing anything. Yep. And let's peel together. Boom. Are you mad I'm fat? All right, let me show y'all what I threw together. I just got on this top, some jeans with the, the orange. I can't do anything right with, I'm gonna see if I can set it up. Let me see. together again my cousin Joey about to pull up and we're about to sit and talk for a second and 
That'd be it. I love. Alright. Well. I, I'm so sorry to keep getting on here crying. I hate that I keep doing this to y'all. I want. I want. I want y'all to see me. How I used to be. Happy. And jovial. I'm so Oh, we just view my grandmother's body. Y'all, she looks so pretty. She looks she looks so at peace. And I, I think I'm crying because I'm happy. I'm happy. She looks so pretty. <laughs> so, I'm about to get dressed. PJ coming to pick me up. Today is Monday, by the way. The funeral is tomorrow. My daughter's graduation is tomorrow. <laughs> he coming to pick me up because a lot of the cousins are all getting together just to see each other, hang out, listen to music, have a few drinks. But <laughs> I just got back home. I thought I was going to be cool. And then my dad walked in and he was like, I don't know if I could see her. And I'm like, you gonna be cool. Just, you know, you gonna be cool. Just go in there. I did it. Just go in there. I've never seen my father vulnerable. I've always seen my father very strong. Y'all, he said, he said, can you hold my hand? Hold my hand. So I just grabbed his hand and I walked him in there. And he just. <laughs> Jesus. So I'll probably see y'all in a little bit. My love. This is what grandmas do say yes when parents say no. Even when I was in the wrong, she would never tell me so. She used to spoil me like crazy and take me places I'd never been. Some places I didn't want to go, but now I wish we can go again. She took me to get my license. She gave me my first car. And on some days I felt like dust but she made me feel like a star. She stayed in the Goodwill <laughs> buying gigantic bras. And even though I was underage, she had me in bingo halls. Sometimes she would fuss at me. And of course I fussed too, but it never really bothered me because this is what grandmas do. She had me in beauty salons. She kept my nails done. And even though I was really young, it was always a lot of fun. She complimented me endlessly. I loved when she came around. Cause no matter how I was feeling, she would never let me frown. Smile, grandma, she would say to me. You're too pretty to be sad. But now how can I smile when I lost the best grandma I ever had? 
call me crazy, call me a fool, but I never imagined losing you. But I've come to the realization that this is what grandmas do. Thank you.